Hey, what's up you guys? So today we are going to be doing a book haul. Um, so this is my spring book haul slash winter book haul, I guess. Um, also, if the lighting is different today, I'm a college student. I live in the dorms. I can't afford like the really nice like big lights. So I rely on the weather and if you know Michigan, you know that there's never any sun here. So it's cloudy today, so if the lighting is a little bit darker than normal, blame Michigan. <laughs> These are pretty much all the books I got like before my spring break. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, let's get into it. So the first book we have is Love, Hate, and Other Filters by Samira Ahmed. I am currently reading this book. Um, I'm about halfway through. Um, I will save my thoughts on what I've read so far for my reading vlog, um, but this is an own voices novel about a Muslim Indian American teenager who is dealing with her parents' expectations versus what she wants. And what she wants is to be a filmmaker and to go away to college to NYU, and what her parents want is for her to stay close to home and marry a nice Muslim Indian teenage boy. Um, so far it's pretty good. Um, I mean, like I said, like I'm gonna save my thoughts for the reading vlog, so if you're interested in what I thought about this novel, definitely check that out. The next book we have is Vessel by Sarah Beth Durst. Um, I'll admit, I don't know a ton about this book. Um, I kind of picked it up on a whim. Book Outlet got me when they had their sale, but I saw the author and I really love her um, I really love her book Ice which is a East of the Sun West of the Moon retelling and so I really wanted to pick this up and read some of her other stuff so from what I understand this is a book about a girl who is supposed to be the embodiment of a goddess but she is not the goddess is missing and so it's her just kind of like dealing with that and I think she has to like go on an adventure to try and like find the goddess and I don't know, it sounded interesting and I really love the author so I thought I'd give it a shot. Next we have The Valiant by Leslie Livingston. Um, this is a book whose sequel has been all over booktube recently. The sequel just came out um, and this is about female vikings. Um, I've heard really good things about it. The cover art for the sequel looks amazing um, so I'm really excited to get to this one. Next we have Library of Fates by Aditi Korana. Uh, if I say any of these names wrong, I'm really sorry. I don't know how to pronounce names. I'm really terrible at pronouncing names. Um, but this is a book based on Indian folklore, I think. It's a fantasy novel. Um, I've been really into Indian folklore lately. I've read a lot. I've read Rishani Chakshi lately um, and I really love her books. And so I wanted to kind of delve more into the world of Indian and Hindu folklore and so I thought I'd give this one a shot. <sighs> Next, it's a book that I love. Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. This is a West African inspired fantasy novel. Um, I have read this. I have a vlog all about it. I adored this book. It's fantastic. I marked it all up. I tabbed so many things in it. It's such an important read, I think. Um, so if you're hesitant about the hype, definitely just give it a shot because the hype says one thing, but this book is so much more powerful than the hype that it's getting. It's just, it's so necessary and so wonderful, especially at this time. Next, we have Wind Witch by Susan Dennard. I have also already read this book. Um, this is the sequel to Truth Witch. Um, no spoilers, so I guess I'll just... Synopsis? Give the synopsis for Truth Witch. So Truth Witch is about two girls who are... They're witches. Um, one is a truth witch so she can determine truth and lies and the other is a thread witch who can see the threads and how people are connected. Um, it's kind of all about them going on an adventure and then you get 
like elements of politics and kingdoms and it's it's a really fun series i read them super quickly i really enjoyed them um yeah next we have a court of wings and ruin by sarah j mass i have also already read this one um this is the last book in her court of thorns and roses trilogy um it was a solid sequel or it was a solid it was a solid conclusion i would say um it wasn't my favorite i still think i like akamath the most but it was pretty good it was i didn't really know what was going to happen it kept me on my toes the whole time um so yeah and keeping with our themes of sequels and conclusions i have immortal rain by morgan rhodes which is the last book in the falling kingdom series i have also already read this one um it's i started reading this series i think in like 2015 and so i was a lot younger i was 16 or 17 um and i really enjoyed them then and then i kind of took a break um but i think this series is a lot of fun it's a really light for a fantasy series it's got a a lot of fun surprises. The magic system is really cool. Um, I didn't hate it, but I also didn't love it. I kind of expected more from the conclusion of this, but definitely if you've put the effort into reading five books, definitely give this one a shot. Um, it wraps everything up pretty nicely, so can't complain too much. Next we have Rain the Earth by AC Gaugan. Um, from what I understand, this is a book about a girl who is forced into an arranged marriage with a man who wants to eradicate magic. The only issue with that is that she has elemental powers. She is what is called an elemente. And so it's just her navigating not only this marriage to a man who's much older and cruel, but also navigating her new powers that she has and trying to hide them from her husband and to fight for the people. So that way her husband doesn't commit a genocide against these people. Um, I'm really excited. I think that this one is going to be a lot like Children of Blood and Bone in that it's going to be very powerful and very appropriate for the time period that we're living in. So I'm really, really excited to get to this one. I think I might pick this one up next. Uh, next we have An Enchantment of Ravens by... Who's it by? By Margaret Rogerson. Um... This book is, it's been compared a lot to A Court of Thorns and Roses because there's, our main character is an artist, um, there's a fae element, and so it's been compared to that a lot. Um, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this one, but I think it's pretty short, um, so I think it'll just be kind of a quick, um, lighter read, uh, and so I don't know that I'll pick this one up soon. This seems kind of more like a fall read. So I might wait until the fall to read this one, but I don't know. If you've read it and you think that I should read it, uh, let me know down below. And kind of a change of pace, but next we have Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. Um, I've been really wanting to pick this book up for a long time. Um, I have gone into so many bookstores and I've seen it and I've almost bought it a ton. Uh, it's been on my Amazon wish list and in my cart for forever. And then I went home over spring break and I went to my local bookstore and I saw this copy, which was signed. Um, and so I had to pick it up because not only do I love supporting my small local businesses, but it was signed. So I had to pick it up. Um, this is Trevor Noah's autobiography. I've heard incredible things about it. I've heard that it's so funny. Um, he actually came to my campus in November and spoke and he was just so inspiring. It was amazing. It was incredible to get to see him. And so I'm really, really excited to see how his personality and his humor transfer into literature. And last but not least, we have a, I don't know whether to call it a graphic novel or like a comic book compilation, um, but we have Scales and Scoundrels, um, volume one, Into the Dragon's Maw, which it's by Gurner, Gallad, and Powell. Um, I have the first couple issues. I bought these when they were originally comics, um, and I have the first couple issues, and then it got released into this nice like bind-up paperback edition. 
Um, and so I had to pick it up. I really enjoyed the comics that I've read. I actually have them right here. So I have the first three comics here. Um, I really enjoyed them. They're really fun. Um, they're just, it's about a girl who is a dragon and they go on an adventure and it reminds me a lot of Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. Um, the artwork is astounding. There are so many amazing colors and just the illustrations and the story. It's just, I'm really, really excited to dive back into this world and to have them all in a nice singular format for me. So yeah. Um, so that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, definitely click that thumbs up. And if you want to see more, definitely subscribe. I upload videos every Tuesday and Friday with bonus videos when I feel like it. Um, so yeah. If you want to follow me on social media, all of that is linked down in this description below. Um, that is it for today. Bye! Did you think that I would let you Crawl right back into my bedroom After everything we've been